Welcome to Dude RV. I do appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit, hey, click on that subscribe button down there. Hit the bell as well. I post new content every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. For those of you who have been following along for a while, every time I go somewhere, every time I'm at a lake or a body of water, you hear me say it, I'm, I'm lusting for a boot. <laughs> I, I just, I just want to get on the water. And when I was up at Pat Mays, those big catfish were just right the other side of those bushes where I couldn't get to them. I'm going to solve that problem. I thought long and hard about this. Looked at a lot of different watercraft. I uh, had, had a few criteria that, that were must-haves. And the first one is it had to be RV friendly. I had to be able to, to transport it uh, without taking up a whole lot of space or weight. Uh, because of the, the mobility issues, I needed, needed something that was easy for me to access in and out. Uh, I wasn't a, and I looked at a lot of kayaks and Zodiac type boats, and none of them really just didn't appeal to me. And you know, I built a boat a couple of years ago, uh, but it wasn't real transportable, and then the termites ate it. It needs to be budget friendly. Uh, I don't want to drag around a trailer, you know, Yappy doesn't really look forward to going fishing, so it needed, you know, one man portable is ideal. Uh, scooter portable, it comes to mind. So I've done a lot of shopping <laughs> on Amazon, and done a lot of research, and I, I found what I think is going to be the perfect Dude RV watercraft. And this right here in these three boxes. This is the Aquos pontoon boot, 8.8, .8, eight feet, eight inches. So I'm gonna open up these boxes and take a look at what we've got. They say you can put it together in about 15 minutes. Of course, on this first run, I'm gonna be figuring it out. So it'll probably take a little more than 15, so Let's go put some stuff together. All unboxed. Well, except for the rear stanchion. But the, the pontoons, it actually comes with an inflator. Paddle, the deck, and the seat. And the seat's gonna have, require some assembly. And it came with statement of origin so that you can get it registered. And there's a YouTube channel so that you can watch watch somebody put it together. So I'm gonna go watch that real quick and then we'll put it together. Seems pretty straightforward. Uh, had to do a little hunting to find the video. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it according to the video that I just watched. I'm gonna get to it.
Too big and too small on the D-rings. Small D-ring goes in the bottom. See the, the longer hole here fits into that plastic, which is why we have to have the bigger D-ring pin. tongue and groove set up. There's a nut on these connector plates. This ought to be pretty simple. Had to swap out the battery. 
when it's hot like this, the GoPro goes through batteries real fast. All right, these are feet straps and those little, the little stainless steel things there to hold those down. So when you're doing the paddleboard thing, you're you're more stable. Right now, I'm mounting the the seat base. And that doesn't come with pre-drilled holes, so I've got to mark it nine and a half inches at center and then center in this panel. And I'm gonna put the feet strap probably here. That's kind of close to center of mass. I'm excited. It'll go together much faster <laughs> the second time. Maybe I'll redo the video. done all right i think it, i know it's going to go together much faster next time i'm done everything is it all came together pretty good i, f I figured out the foot straps i figured out just about everything So we're going to close out this video now. The next video is going to be in the Boating with Bob. Be in the, in the Dude RV boat, Boating with Dude RV playlist. Uh, I'm going to have several videos on this. So the next one, now we've, we've figured out how to put it together right out of the box. Uh, with the limited instructions available so the next video I'm gonna do a time assembly to see how how fast it comes together uh, and probably put it in the water I'm, I'm, I've got a trip coming up to a, a, a lake so we'll put it in the water and see how it performs and so we'll time it, we'll put it on the water. The Aquos pontoon boat. 
I like it. I like it a lot. As a because of the stuff that I got going on, uh, the stand up part of it, paddleboard part of it is uh, it's kind of awkward. I'm real unstable on my legs. The platform is is rock solid. Uh, there, I would, I do wish they would provide an option for oars and oar locks. Their larger one has that option, uh, and they actually have video on YouTube of this model with oars. But they, they, they said they will not, will not do that. So there's another video coming because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put together a solution there's a there's a couple of other things that I found in on this weekend of use I need I need something here on the front and I, and I found an ice chest that should work uh, that is a small ice chest with handles on the end but once when I get all these mods finalized <laughs> if they'll ever be finalized but once they get all the mods done uh, we'll do a, another overview. But for now, this, this in my opinion, is, is probably the perfect RVer uh, fishing platform. It stows nicely. It, it's a little on the heavy side, so getting it to and from the, the water, like in this case, I had to go about 100 yards down to the water. But I have another, I have a solution for that. It's coming. So there'll be a a lot of several videos coming out of this boat but for now hey go check it out on amazon it's down there in my on my influencer page the the gear page if you're looking for a way to get on the water the aquos the aquos pontoon boat will facilitate that i'm gonna get it washed up and stowed away thank you for watching if you enjoyed this little video, watching me sweat, figuring out this cool boat, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all come back now, you hear?